My name is Kent Honda. I'm an ordinary high school student. I wish I could say that, but I've already quit school because I have a very special circumstance. Now the next payment day is at the end of next month, okay? Yes, I understand. That's right. The special circumstance is actually a huge debt. The debt originally belonged to my father, who liked to gamble, but he disappeared all of a sudden, leaving me and my mother behind. My mother was physically weak to begin with, and I guess this incident shocked her so much that she got even sicker. She had to quit her teaching job, so she can't even work to pay off the debt. I'm sorry, Kent. It's okay. We can make it if it's just the monthly payments. If only I hadn't been his guarantor. It's not your fault, but his. You can stay in bed. But we can't keep living like this. It'll be fine. Of course, I don't have any resentment toward my mother, and I don't plan on leaving her alone. However, it's true that we have to do something about the situation. I'm only paying off the interest with the monthly payments. If we keep going like this... Huh? What's this? Let's see... Human auction. We'll buy you at a high price. What's this? It sounds fishy. Is this a prank or a scam? That advertisement had a QR code. It seemed like I could check the details on the internet. Usually I would laugh off such an advertisement, but I'm currently in a desperate situation. Well, I guess I'll just sign up. Even if this was a scam, since I don't have a credit card, I don't have any information that could be stolen. I won't be in a worse situation than I am now. As soon as I got home, I signed up and entered my personal information. Most of the questions were about physical info and personal preferences, which made it rather creepy. My favorite snack, list of dishes I want my girlfriend to make, what I want to do now and my future dream? Do they really need all this information? I feel like I'm really going to be evaluated. That's it. Well, it's probably a prank but I gotta kill some time. I'm gonna go take a bath. Wow, what? What is it? Huh? What is this? It says, you have been sold successfully, and my price was 100 million yen. Th th this has gotta be a prank, right? H hey, 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 no way. You must be Mr. Kent Honda. Y yes the ownership right of yourself has been transferred to Ms. Mary Toyota as of now. Is there a chance that the auction was real? Yes, it's all real. You have been bid on. Kent, who are they? M Mom! If I've been sold successfully, I'll really get 100 million yen in my hand. Then I can pay back the debt. Now, this way. Kent? Don't worry about me. And we should get a lot of money, so please pay back the debt with that money. Where are you going, Kent? I'm not sure, but once I get settled, I'll contact you. And just like that, it seems like I'll be owned by this person named Mary Toyota. I wonder what kind of person she is, and how will I be treated? The moment I was escorted into a car, reality hit me, and I got terrified all of a sudden. However, there's no place for me to escape. There was nothing I could do, and the car arrived at a great house that looked like a mansion. The person who was standing there to welcome me was a cute girl, about the same age as I was. Thank you for coming here, Mr. Kent. Sure, sure. I'm Mary Toyota. Toyota? Does that mean you're the one who bought me? Yes. As of today, you belong to me. I was imagining a more elegant person who spends all her day just enjoying her pastime. Who in the world is this girl? <laughs> you look like you're wondering about me. Th that's right. Everything happened so quickly. Then let's go to my room. I'll explain it to you. Sh sure. Phew! We should be fine here. Huh? What do you mean? <sighs> this is too precious! What? do you mean? Oh, I'm happy we're in the same room and breathing the same air. Her mood has changed completely. Oh, sorry. This is the real me. Oh, okay. Hey, Kent. 
Don't be so polite. Treat me like your girlfriend. Wait, Miss Toyota? I want you to call me Mary. Wait, what's going on? But since I've been bought, I guess I have to obey her commands. Um, Mary? Well, please explain. Oh, then let me explain everything. I'm actually the daughter of a company's president. Okay. Have you heard of the Toyota Corporation? What? Toyota? Toyota as in that Toyota Corporation? It's a big global company. <laughs> That's right! So that's how I could pay $100 million in one bid! I see. But why did you buy me? That's easy! Because I've liked you for a long, long time! Huh? But this is our first time meeting each other, right? Well, what do you think? No, this has to be the first time. There's no way I'd forget such a cute girl. And you know, since I like you, I created an auction website just for you and put the advertisement in the mailbox. The rest is just as you know it. It means everything was set up to buy me. Oh, what about the debt? What's going to happen to my mom? There's no need to worry. Everything is set up so you'll be happy. But it took me more time for preparation than I first planned. I'm sorry. I meant to help you out earlier. No, it's not something you need to apologize for. Rather, I'm not sure about the details, but I appreciate it. You're so kind. That's what I like about you. Mary, you're too close. What? You're mine, so there's nothing wrong with this. And this is how my surprising new life started. I was imagining being forced to do harsh labor and such, but my role was focused on interacting with Mary. In fact, I'm not sure what kind of powers were at work, but I got to enter the same high school as Mary. <laughs> I'm glad we're in the same class. I guess you paid a lot of money under the table, right? You would give other people the wrong idea. I gave them some land, not money. I knew it. You're very guilty. Don't be so picky. You didn't want to quit school, right? How did you know that? <laughs> I know all your personal information. Oh, from the auction. No wonder they've been serving me my favorite food. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Well, I'm not sure how to explain it, but I feel perplexed to be treated so nicely all of a sudden. Are you troubled by any chance? Oh, no. I'm not troubled by any means, but I've had such a hard time. Yeah, I know, I know. So you can have a lot of happy moments from now on. Why do you care so much about me, Mary? Oh, I guess I never told you. A little while ago, I heard you helped my grandma. I did? Yes. So I started doing some research about you so I could return the favor. And I found out about your debt. I was surprised because you acted so kindly to others, even though you were in such a difficult situation. Isn't that normal? When you have a lot on your plate, it's hard to think about other people. Is that so? Yes, that's why I came to like you. It's been a while since we got together and you're just as I expected you to be. I, I feel embarrassed. Here, let's go to school quickly. Okay. I can't remember how long it has been since I was in a class last. I feel a little nervous because it's been a while. Hello there, I'm Miss Honda, and I'll be your teacher from today. I hope we can have a great year. Huh? Mom, why? And are you feeling okay? Oh yeah, I feel so much better. This is all thanks to Miss Toyota. Thank you very much. Oh no, Mom, don't be such a stranger, please. You guys are strangers, but... I'm so happy. My mom is feeling better. It's like a dream coming true. Man, you could have told me that you hired my mom. I thought it'd be a nice surprise. And I have one more surprise. What? What is it? I is this voice Kent? Oh, no way. It's the person who used to be your father. He's running away from different debt collectors. 
Phew, it was hard to find him. Because of it, I was late to help you out. Right now, he's caught by the men I've hired. Do you want to help him out? Th that Help me, Kent. They're telling me that they'll turn me into the loan shark, depending on your answer. But you racked up all the debt, right? That's right. But there's no way I can pay so much interest. Hey, help me out, Kent. Otherwise, I'm not sure what's going to happen to me. Sorry, Mary. I'm not truly a good person. Is it hard to forgive him? Yeah, it is. I can't forgive a person who betrayed my mom. I see. Mary said she liked me because I was kind. Since I showed my dark side, probably... I got it! Good job, Kent! M mary Why? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not kind at all. Being kind and being gullible are totally different things. Your decision is only natural, and I do the same thing. Well, I don't dislike gullible people, though. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. I was worried how you'd feel about me. Oh? Uh, were you worried that I wouldn't like you? Huh? That's not what it is. Aw, you're so cute. Don't worry. I love you, Kent. Just like that, I got a clean slate and started a new life. My mother got better, and I'm having a great time with Mary every day. Ah, here you go, Tesla. Who did good again? Thank you. I'm Tosh Tesla, a typical high school student who is good at studies. I got 98 on my last test. I didn't get 100. But if I keep up my work, I'm sure I can get into any university of my choice. What are you smiling at? Um, I was just... <laughs> you don't have to be that insecure. She's Kate Ford, a gal who sits next to me. She's so friendly that she speaks to an introvert like me as well. That's nice, but... Wow! You got 98! I got 24! <laughs> She's a little too extroverted for me. Should I laugh with her? But she wouldn't like it if she thought I was laughing at her. But if she expects me to laugh too, I would spoil the fun if I didn't laugh with her. What should I do? What's the right thing for me to do here? Uh, sometimes you act so weird. What? I don't know what your problem is, but you should be more confident in yourself, you know? You won't be able to get a girlfriend always looking down like that. Uh, I don't need a girlfriend. Hmm, you're a high school boy, but you don't want to enjoy your high school life? No, I, I don't. Really? Too bad. I think studying for my future is more important than enjoying high school life now. What? You can still study when you get older. You only have now to enjoy your high school life, you know? And it's so much better to have lots of experiences now. That's true, but if I try hard now, I can get ahead of others. I see. That's how you think. After saying that, Ms. Ford went over to her friends. Maybe it was a meaningless conversation for Ms. Ford, but somehow it got to me. I do want to enjoy my high school life, too. It's not like I want to sacrifice everything for my studies. I just put studying at the top priority now. I would love to go out with a girl if I had the chance. But honestly, I'm not handsome. And I'm gloomy. A person like that needs a big trigger to fall in love. But something dramatic like that would never happen to an introvert like me. Hey, Tosh. Yeah? Are you interested in taking up a part-time job? Well, I do want extra money, but I'm not sure if I have the time. I knew you were going to say that. What if it's being a tutor and teaching what you have already studied in middle school? Oh, that might work. It would be a chance for me to review as well. Do you know someone? Yes, well... Her friend is looking for a tutor for her daughter. I would have no problem teaching her what we learn in middle school. She says that it's okay that you're a high school student. I see. It's an attractive offer. But I'm not sure if someone who's not good at communicating with other people like me could be a tutor. What do you say? 
If you want to do it, I'll tell her. Well, how about having a trial first? Well, I guess you need to know if you're well-suited or not. Okay, then I'll tell her that. I'm a bit nervous, but eventually I'll have to get more experience. It would be easier than being a tutor through a company, so it might be a good opportunity for me. It's Saturday. I'm at the house in my neighborhood where I would work as a tutor. The student's last name is Ford. It's the same as Miss Ford, but it's not a rare name. It must be just a coincidence. Yes! Um, hi, I'm Tosh Tesla. I'll be teaching your daughter. Oh, thank you. The door is not locked, so please come in. Okay. Hi, I'll show you to Kate's room. Oh, sure. Huh? Kate? So her daughter's name is Kate Ford? What? what? Oh, do you know each other? Uh, he's my classmate. Why are you... You're the same age as me, right? I thought I was teaching a middle school student. Uh, that's just because Kate hasn't studied since middle school. Uh... Oh no, Miss Ford looks so awkward. But I thought she wasn't interested in studying. Oh well, I'm glad that you know each other. See you later. Well, Miss Ford? What? Why do you need a tutor? Remember how we talked the other day? Y yeah You made me realize how important it is to study, thinking that if I don't try hard now, I won't be able to keep up with others freaked me out. Did I scare you? Not really, but I kept thinking about what you told me since then. I guess we've been thinking about what we've told each other then. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, n nothing. Anyway, let's start. I can't say her words made me think how much I wanted a girlfriend. That's too embarrassing. I started working as her tutor, but her academic level was much lower than I'd expected. Hey, Tosh, was Nobunaga Oda a man or a woman? Huh? I was watching TV and I saw an anime and Nobunaga was a girl in it. That was just an anime, so just forget about it. This is not what I expected. She didn't even understand what they taught us in elementary school, let alone in middle school. How did she pass the entrance exam? I asked her and... Intuition. That sounds like her. She's beyond my expectations. Phew, it's finally over. How was it, Tosh? Did I get amazingly smart? Uh, I hope so. I checked how she did in all the subjects, but they were just devastatingly bad. I couldn't teach her when she didn't even understand the basics. So when are you gonna teach me again, Tosh? Um, sorry about that. Well, I'm glad that you're my tutor. I can talk to you easily, and I trust you. Oh, she's making it hard for me to turn it down. <laughs> I get a bit nervous about letting a boy my age into my room, but I think I can continue my studies with you. Oh no, I can't say no. I'm in a room now. It smells good and I can't think straight now. So when will the next lesson be? Next week? I'm okay with studying after school as well. Then... Next Saturday. Okay, I'll tell my mom. Thanks, Tosh. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Why didn't I tell her no? Was it because I was intoxicated with her smell and couldn't think straight? No, it wasn't. I was probably... I was probably dreaming about a romance with an otaku-friendly gal. This is a so-called flag. I can't just miss this chance. I have to see it through. I decided to continue being her tutor. Her academic level was devastating, but if I taught her in easy ways, she didn't have any problem understanding. Wow, it's so much easier than when the teachers teach us. Why? <laughs> it was just pure luck. It was obviously because I took the time to make a plan, considering what she was good and bad at. But of course, I, I can't tell her that. You're great, Tosh. You're the same age as me, but you're good at everything. I've been doing nothing but study. I think you're better. 
Huh? Why? You can talk to your friends during the breaks, you know? That's like a dream to an introvert like me. I see. Then I can teach you what you don't know, then we both can learn from each other. What? Okay, Tash, why don't we get something to eat after we're done with studying? I'll show you great cafes and stuff. Isn't that called a date? Oh. Oh no, it must be nothing to her. She's used to doing this all the time. I might have creeped her out. M maybe it is a date. What? Is it? B because going out with someone you like is... Ah, I take it back. I take it back. Uh, but I heard it. Uh, well, I think I like you, Tosh. I've never had anyone who would face me seriously like you. I like you, too. But you're not interested in this kind of thing, right? I'm sorry for telling you this. She thinks that I'm not interested in anything other than my studies. I have to be brave here or nothing's gonna change. No. Miss Ford, I've been thinking about what you told me before. How you asked me if I wanted to enjoy my high school life. Really? Yeah. To be honest, I've wanted to enjoy my high school life too. I want to go out with someone and talk about silly stuff. I want to go out to many places as well. So, if you want, would you? Of course I'd love to, Tosh. You're my boyfriend now. Just like that, I started going out with Kate. I hope I can be with her as her tutor, as well as her boyfriend. I'm Kent Honda, a 25-year-old programmer in a system development firm. Damn it! A specification changed just before the deadline? Now I've got to work overtime again! Our president is a skilled programmer, and I do respect him for that. But when it comes to management skills, he's really poor. We're always understaffed, and small firm employees like us end up being exploited by major clients. At least I've got a job. But the workers on site have to take the toughest job, and we'll all be exhausted sooner or later. Our clients only think of us as pawns with cheap labor costs, but above all, this person annoys me the most. I've made the changes as requested. Let me take a look. This is Ayame Goyoku-san. She's an employee of a giant firm called Slur, our biggest client. The firm undertakes system development, operation, maintenance, and consulting. Ayame-san is a sales staff, but she also has deep knowledge in system relations. And that's why she looks down on us subcontracts and forces us to do unreasonable tasks. Honestly, I think this is completely useless. Why? I've done it according to the specifications. The code constructions are too sloppy. Can't you do any better? But... With the given deadline and budget, I had no choice. That's none of our business. Just to let you know, we're delegating work to you. But all of us are already full. You'd better watch out with what you say, or I might not give you a new job. Oh, uh, alright. I'll work on it again. Damn her! Just because she's our big client, she always looks down on us. As you can see, I'm always pushed around by her. One day, gyoku san visited us again. I got myself prepared for another unreasonable demand, but... Honda, we're heading out today. Excuse me? What's with the change? You're going to have an interview. Shut up and follow me. What? What's going on? And the place she took me to was... another giant firm. I've read your skill sheet. I take it that you are a very talented worker. He is, indeed. Honda is our ace. It's a pleasure to meet you and I feel very encouraged to have you work with us. What skill sheet are they talking about? I don't remember making anything like that. And I don't even belong to Gyoko-san's firm. The woman sitting in front of me is Mary Toyota-san. It seems like we're close in age, but she's already the head of the development division. Wait, I still don't get the picture. <clears throat> Keep your mouth shut and don't think about it too deeply. <laughs> no 
worries! I don't think I've explained our project in detail yet. Currently, we're working on a large-scale development system, but we don't have enough competent programmers who can do this task. Uh... And your firm has kindly offered us some manpower. Honda-san, we would like you to stay here as a temporary engineer and work with us. Uh-huh. This is news to me. And what's worse... Wait, I really can't take this. What's your problem? From the explanation earlier, I assume that Toyota-san's firm is the prime contractor, and Gyoko-san's firm is the subcontractor, and we are the sub-subcontractor. Multiple contracts means... We're the ones taking over the actual job. But if you're taking the middle margin, there's almost no benefit left for us. So this is what you're nagging about? It happens a lot in our business, you know? But this time you've gone too far. How can you set up a meeting without letting me know? Do you think you can talk to me like that? Do you want your firm to go bankrupt? Are, are you threatening us? Of course not. I wouldn't dare to be nasty like that. Let's just take this as a win-win. You do your job and we do ours. I'm counting on you. Ugh. I ran back to the office and discussed it with the president. He thought about it for a long while, but there was no other choice for us than to accept the job. Otherwise, we would really go bankrupt. Why do I have to do this when it doesn't pay at all? I started working at Toyota-san's firm as Gyoko-san's firm's employee. I've lost track of who I'm actually working for. Honda-san, how is it going? Well, I finished creating some objects for the program. Already? Do you mind if I take a look at the source codes? Whoa, Toyota-san. She's only an inch away from me. <gasps> this looks great! You've created such a beautiful source code in no time! You sure are excellent as I've heard! I'm not all that. I don't have the courage to say that she's the one who's beautiful. I still can't forgive Gyoko-san, but it's thanks to her that I get to work with Toyota-san now. Um, if you have time, I'd like to have a talk with you on programming. I want to know more about it. By all means. You seem very enthusiastic about your job. <laughs> I still have a long way to go. I learned a lot from talking and working with Toyota-san. Not before long, a month had already passed. Please allow me to apologize for the trouble Honda has caused. Ugh. Oh no, please don't say that. It's not Honda-san's fault for being behind schedule. Uh, but... Honda-san is a great help to us, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, if I may excuse myself now, I have a meeting. Oh, thank you for your understanding. <sighs> hey, you! Don't cause me trouble, okay? I thought you just heard that the delay wasn't my fault. Don't be stupid. She said that out of kindness. For God's sake, it's going to be our responsibility. How useless can you be? Whatever is she saying? She is the one who forced this job on me. I think I've had enough. Huh? What's gotten into you? I've been consulting this problem with our president, and we're going to cancel our contract with you. No way! You don't really mean it, do you? It's all thanks to us that you subcontractors can get a job. We finally realized that if we continue working with you, we're going to be exploited. My boss will go through the official procedures for the cancellation. Goodbye. Don't even think you can do it! I'm gonna make you regret that decision! Ayame-san and I ended in a quarrel, but a few days later, she suddenly showed up. What do you want from us today? We have no intention of making a contract with you again. Are you sure about that? If you apologize to me now, I'll let you have a contract with us again. We're good. I must ask you to leave now. Mm, then how about this? You can do whatever you wish to me. Huh? What is this person saying? So, what do you think about it? I'm quite confident with my body, you know. Hey, stop it, please! I'm not joking. I looked for other outsourcing companies, but I couldn't find anywhere that had better personnel than yours. At this rate, Toyota-san's firm will terminate its contract with us. You're doing this just because of that? As long as you listen to me, I'm sure I can please you. No. Goyok-san, what's going on? 
Uh, Toyota-san, why are you here? I invited her here so we can organize the future tasks. What do you mean by future tasks? You're out of the project. I might have forgotten to tell you. After we cancelled our contract with you, we made a new one with Toyota-san's firm directly. Now you're no longer able to cut the margin between us. You can't do that! Then what's gonna happen to us? Our contract is over. You faked Honda-san as your employee, so the contract was void from the beginning. We're no longer going to work with a firm that makes a work contract fraud. Never contact us again. N no This can't be happening! Later, Yoka-san's firm was found guilty for doing several other work contract fraud, and their earnings dropped. Gyoka-san was in charge of those matters and was forced to resign to take responsibility. Our firm, on the other hand, has become close partners with Toyota-san's firm, and our income has boosted up. We're also collaborating on developing a new system. And not only that, I love you, Toyota-san. No, Mary-san. Will you go out with me? I'd be happy to. I love you too, Ken. I've met a wonderful partner officially and privately. My future does look promising with my beloved girlfriend beside me. But even if I do succeed, I will not become arrogant like that woman. And I will stay modest at all times. My name is Kent Honda. My business failed, and I fell into debt. I couldn't even pay my rent, so... I'm forced to live in the park now. Oh, I'm hungry. If this continues, I'll never be able to get out of a life on the streets. I know I have to do something about it, but 750 yen is all I got. There's nothing I can do with this much. Two weeks have passed since then. I ran out of money, and death is drawing near. Once I passed the limit of feeling hungry, it seemed like I felt nauseous instead. Oh, I can't take it anymore. But I don't have the energy to try again. Being all alone and coming to the end of my life may not be so bad. I'm going to sleep for a bit. Um, are you okay? Uh, hey! Oh, yes. Are you from the government office? No, I happen to pass by. But, um, I've seen you live here for a while, and I've been worried about you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. But anyways, do you happen to be hungry? Yes, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but how'd you know? I've been hearing the sound of your stomach. Oh, I'm sorry. It had become so normal, so I wasn't even aware of it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, if you're okay, could you eat some bread that I made? I'll be glad to, but how come? I go to a catering school because I want to work at a bakery, and I bake so much bread every day that I can never eat it all. Even today, here. Wow, they look so yummy. <laughs> I'm glad. I could never finish them, so I always gave them to the birds at this park. If they're leftovers, I'll throw them away. So, if you like, please help yourself. Are you sure? Yes, but in exchange, please give me your honest critique. If it tastes bad, please say so without hesitation. I got it. Thank you so much. I can never say anything bad about the taste since she's giving them to me. But I guess giving her my honest opinion would benefit her. Now please, hurry up and try it. Then I'll try this croissant first. Good. This is very good. I thought it was supposed to taste nasty, but to my surprise, it was actually good. Really? I'm glad. Actually, the croissant is the only one I'm confident about. Mm, the croissant is the only one? Uh, yes, I'm not confident about other ones at all. Wait, that doesn't sound good. Especially this bread. Oh. Can you please try it? Sure. Uh-huh. What's in it? Well, if I'm this hungry, anything will taste good. First of all, I'm in no place to complain about the taste. Nasty! What is this? For that bread, I needed some toothpaste into the dough. Why did you do that? You know how your teeth get dirty when you eat? So I thought if I needed some toothpaste in, your teeth will be clean and you will also become full. So I thought it'd be like killing two birds with one stone. But then, when I tasted it, it was so nasty. 
The aroma of mint is exquisitely disgusting. <laughs> then please try this one next. What's this? It's a bread roll with vinegared mozuku seaweed. Vinegared mozuku seaweed? Like this? I tried different kinds of bread. Man, it really helps me to get somebody else's opinion. Thank you so much. Sure. I'm glad I could help. I was spared from starving to death, but this sure was a harsh battle. Um, if you're okay, can you eat my bread with me again tomorrow? Uh, I'm okay, but are you gonna be okay? Huh? Well, you know, I'm homeless, so if somebody sees you like this, your reputation will suffer. Um, I don't really mind. Plus, if people point fingers at me for something like this, I don't really care what they think of me. You're such a nice person. Oh, wow. You tell me I'm cute, kind, and like an actress? That's too many compliments. I didn't go that far. Then, if I'm qualified, I'll try again tomorrow. Really? Yeah! Then let's go through hell and back together tomorrow again. If possible, I'd be happy if you could make them delicious. I'll do my best. With that being said, she was literally a lifesaver for me since I was about to starve. I found out her name was Mary Toyota. She bought me bread every day when she had school. By the way, how old are you, Mr. Honda? I'll be 26 this year. I see. Then we're six years apart. I'm an energetic 20. The energetic generation usually don't call themselves energetic. Oh, you envy my youth, huh? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're old enough to have a sore back and legs, right? I'm not that old. In this manner, Miss Toyota and I got along fairly quickly. Since I've literally lost everything, it wasn't too much to say that this time with her was my only enjoyment. Oh, yeah. Would you like to use these? Oh, is that okay? Of course. Bury yourself in the bubbles. I'm sorry that I'm always just receiving something. That's nothing to worry about. I get a lot from you too, Mr. Honda. Oh, did I do anything? Yes, this time spent with you is very fun for me. I'm glad to hear that. Please continue this in the future. Even with what she said, I still want to return the favor somehow. I guess I'll just try again, just one more time. Since then, I fixed myself up as much as possible and applied for welfare. There were many conditions, but since I don't have any income and support from family and relatives, it seems like I can get welfare. Thanks for waiting, Mr. Honda. Uh, oh, does something good happen? Yes. It looks like I can get out of this lifestyle. Is that right? That's good. Yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh? Me? I haven't told you how I became homeless yet, have I? You're right. Honestly, I didn't think I should bring that topic up. Actually, the company I was running went out of business. It was almost like I was entrapped. Since then, I had no motivation to live. And before I realized it, I was homeless. I see. So that's what happened. I didn't want to live, but I didn't have the courage to die either. Then I met you, Miss Toyota. You treated me kindly even though I dressed filthy. As I spent time with you, I wanted to return your favor. Oh, it wasn't like I was doing a favor for you, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I know, but this is just my selfish wish. And I want to try to live just one more time and return the favor back to you. <laughs> if you say such a thing, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you. Um, uh, Mr. Honda? You mean you're getting out of this lifestyle, so... Does that mean you can't eat bread with me anymore? I may not be able to every day like now, but I'll work out my schedule. Really? Yes, it seems like your bread has a lot to work on. Oh, that's not nice. Like this, I started my new life. I worked a part-time job, and a few months later, I moved into a studio apartment, and... 
Miss Mary, congratulations on your graduation. Thank you, Mr. Ken. <sighs> now I can finally work at a bakery like I've always dreamed of. Miss Mary graduated from school and got a job at a nearby bakery to get certified as a confectionery hygiene master. Um, Mr. Ken, now that... What's the matter? You know how you said a long time ago you wanted to return my favor? Yes. I mean, I'm still thinking about how I can return the favor to you. Really? Then, um, can you teach me about management? I would like you to help me. Huh? Me? Yes. I'm not very smart, so I can't study on my own. So, if you can, teach me. But I failed once, you know. That'll be fine. You won't fail again as long as you stay with me. Uh, on what grounds do you say that? You said you decided to try again once more because you met me, right? Oh, uh, that's right. Yes, so I'm like the goddess who leads you in the right direction. Your self-evaluation is so high. <laughs> now tell me your answer. Will you live life together with me? I have no reason to decline that. I want to live for you, Miss Mary. Oh, that sounds like you're confessing your love. Mm, wasn't that a confession? Uh, no. Well, I wanted to confess my love in the future, but what I just said was not really... Then, did I say something super embarrassing? You sure did, but I'm super duper happy. I'm looking forward to a great life with you. So, I decided to live with Miss Mary. I also started working part-time at a bakery, and in order to open a bakery with Miss Mary, we studied together daily. Three years later, we got married and started our own bakery. It's still a small shop, but we're working happily. In the future, no matter what happens, I'll live with and support Mary as a husband. I'm Kent Honda, a typical workaholic corporate slave. After working overtime every night continuously, I collapsed on the last train. I was taken to a hospital and... Oh no, what should I do? I still have to go to work tomorrow. I guess I should call my boss first thing in the morning. This is so depressing. My boss, Kazumura, is the type of person who will make his employees come to work even if they are down with fever. So he definitely won't let me take the day off just because I've collapsed from overwork. Oh, is that you, Kent? Huh? Are you Mary? Yes! Long time no see! It's been like, what, 10 years? This is a surprise. I didn't expect to meet you here. She's Mary Toyota, my childhood friend. We used to hang out together all the time when we were in middle school, but we grew apart after I moved away. I heard that you're here because of overwork. Are you okay? Yeah. Looks like I pushed myself too hard this time. Usually, I could manage just fine. A workplace that pushes you to go over the limit like this sounds awful. Could it be like some sort of exploitative company? Well, you're right. This does sound like an exploitative company. Everyone from the newbies to the full-time staff is working like they are the walking dead. I hope you're not one of those overexploited workers. You're making me worried. And that was how I started telling Mary about my workplace. It was natural that we work overtime. We need to work even harder after normal working hours. We get paid peanuts and my boss Kasumura tends to abuse his authority. Well, I need to keep this job because it was what I was offered after graduating from university. But what's the point of working there if you get sick working overtime? I'll be fine. I'm still young. I can still push myself a little more with no problem at all. Accumulated fatigue will make you sick in an instant. You should never tell yourself that you'll be okay. I shouldn't? Yes, you need to rest quietly for at least three days. <laughs> three days? I'll get fired if I take three days off. Then you should quit a job that fires you for taking three days off. That's absurd. Besides, you'll get to talk a lot with me if you have three days, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound very attractive. Of course! Anyway, it's almost time for me to go, but I'll come and see you again tomorrow! Okay, got it. Thanks for the hard work. Alright, rest well, okay, Kent? Mary's gotten really pretty. She must be very popular at this hospital. The next morning, 
I was on the phone with my boss, Kasumura, to explain my situation. Uh, yes. So, I was hoping to get about three days off, please. <laughs> no workplace in the world will let you take three days off. You need to work harder. You're still young. You're not even old enough to be sick from overwork. I'm... I'm really sorry. Who's gonna do your work when you're absent, huh? I'll do everything the day I come back to work. I'm not asking you that. You're useless. Naturally, he didn't ask me how I was. After listening to his complaints for about an hour, he finally approved of my taking a day off. I guess I have to be back at work tomorrow. Honestly, I've recovered enough to the point where I can go back to work tomorrow, but Mary's words are stuck in my head still. I can push my limits because I'm still young, but eventually I'll reach my tipping point and fall. If I do fall sick, my company won't take responsibility. Of course I get what she means, but if I had the courage to make a change, I'd already have done it by now. Good morning, Kent! Well, Mary, uh, I thought you went home already. I couldn't sleep thinking that you're here, so I came to see you. So much for telling me not to work too hard. <laughs> I usually sleep well, plus it's just for today. So, did you manage to get days off? Yeah, I'm taking the day off today. What? What about tomorrow and the day after that? I just couldn't ask him. Do you want me to pretend to be your mother and call him? N no thanks, that's embarrassing. Come on, you don't have to be shy. You can call me mom. I don't have weird preferences like that. Then, what preferences or type of people do you like? Why are you suddenly asking me that? It's just, you know, casual talk. Just casual talk. Um, well... I like someone of the same age, more than younger or older. It'll be easier to talk to. I see. How about someone dressing up like a nurse? A nurse? Are you trying to trick me to say something? Huh? No, I'm not. Why did you say that? You look totally upset, too. Shut up! Do you want me to make you stay longer by saying you got some strange illness? You're freaking me out. Jeez, fine. I'm leaving. Hey, hey, wait. I think a nurse is great, too. Really? Glad to hear that. I'll see you later. Make sure you call your boss properly again. What is she trying to do? I could get the wrong idea. Not long after, Mary came back to work. She came to see me whenever she could. We didn't talk about anything special, but just looking in her eyes made me happy. Actually, I used to have a crush on her in middle school. Why are you smirking? <laughs> Nothing. You're smirking as well. Nah, I always look like this. Seeing how Mary's still innocent like this rekindles my feelings for her. So, can you take the day off tomorrow? Oh, that, as I told you this morning, I don't think it'll be possible. You have to, Kent! Shouldn't your health be more important than your work? It's bad enough that you collapsed from overwork at your age, you know? I know what you mean. I can't even use my paid holidays working under that kind of boss. I'm telling you, I'll call him. It's okay. And I'm feeling better now. No, you can't! We only just met, and already you're making me worried! I've been wondering since we were in middle school, but why do you care so much about me? Huh? You really don't know? N no Oh man, you haven't changed. Hey, what is it? Tell me. No, I won't! I'm leaving now! What was that about? She seemed completely annoyed. This totally brings back memories. Mary used to scold me a lot in middle school. If Mary had been with me, I could have changed a bit. Around midnight, Mary came to my room again. K Kent? Are you sleeping? Mary? No, I'm still up. Good. I have to leave now, but I wanted to talk to you about your stay for tomorrow onwards. We need to prepare things, you know? She seems awkward. It must be because of our last conversation. I guess I should start the conversation. Um, Mary? Huh? Yes? Do you really think I should take the day off tomorrow? Of course! I was even thinking about tying you up to the bed! That sounds scary. 
Because you won't be able to take a day off unless I do that kind of thing, right? Working as a nurse in a hospital, I have to face seeing people die. So I can't help but worry about people. I see. That's why you're worried about me dying from overwork. Yes! Specifically now, I met my first love again! Huh? What did you just say? No! Nothing! It's nothing! But I heard you. Does this mean Mary was in love with me? And that was why she cared about me so much in middle school? If so, that means she's angry because... Um, Mary? Huh? What? You're my first love too, and... Since meeting you here, I've fallen in love with you again. So, will you go- Wow! Wait! Just wait a sec! I'm not prepared for this! You didn't want to? Of course I do. But I can't go out with you now. Why? Because I don't know when you're gonna get sick again from overwork. Oh, I see. If I continue working at that company, I won't be able to go on proper dates with Mary much. And there is a possibility of actually dying from overwork. Fine. I'll tell them that I'm quitting tomorrow. Oh, okay! I'm happy to hear that, but are you sure? Honestly, I'm a little freaked out. I wouldn't be able to tell them if I'm alone. But if you're with me like in middle school, I think I can be brave enough to change my situation. So, please go out with me. Oh man! You're asking me that now? Of course I will go out with you! I love you! I see. Then I think I'll be feeling down tomorrow. So I want you to comfort me. Well, I guess I'll have to. So, that was how I made up my mind to quit my job. Mary won't be here tomorrow morning due to her work shift. But knowing that we love each other was enough for me. Good morning, Kasamura-san. Don't good morning me. Where are you now? I'm still at the hospital. What are you talking about? You slept a lot yesterday, didn't you? I was told to rest for three days. Are you an idiot? There's no way you can have three days off. Even if I collapse from overwork again? Of course. You just need to be tougher. Uh, Alright. Then I quit as of today. Uh, excuse me? First of all, do you even realize the reason why I got sick? It was because I worked too many hours. It's unbelievable that you don't even want to listen to what I have to say, even though I have a doctor's note. Hey, what, what are you getting at? Anyway, I think it'll be difficult to manage without me, but good luck. Hey, Honda. A uh, Honda? It was much easier than I'd expected, thinking I would get to see Mary later. All that's left is to call my colleagues and... I was able to take my first step. After hearing that I quit, most of my colleagues wanted to quit as well, and the company was in trouble. In the end, the management took disciplinary action against Kasamura for his lack of management. After leaving the hospital, I started going out with Mary. I found a new job right away, and I'm currently very happy working there. The new company is a good one, so I have the time to spend with Mary to build our love relationship. Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!